everyone, it's Dylan from the Black Forest Wood Company. Uh, this week we're going to be taking a closer look at the shaper. So that thing is basically a handheld CNC. Uh, if you guys are woodworkers, you're probably very, very fascinated by this tool. I know we were uh, because we can do inlays and all kinds of intricate things that we couldn't do before. Um, Joe's in the background dancing. Okay, <laughs> um, so we're going to show you guys the shaper and Spencer's going to kind of explain how to use it. We're going to be finishing a Buckeye Burl and then Brad is going to show you guys his new base design that he has come up with. Uh, it was already a big hit on Instagram. You guys really liked it. So, but we'll see what you guys on YouTube think. And uh, before the video starts, go leave a like and subscribe. It really helps us out and ring the little bell too. So the table that you just saw Joe finish, that's the Buckeye Burl coffee table. And then Spencer and Ben right now are working on gluing up the legs for that. So these are in solid quarter sawn white oak. Uh, same kind of standard design we do for a lot of our legs. Uh, it's just four pieces of wood glued up with our domino. And then the top piece has a little six mil reveal. Uh, it's not on there yet, we're gonna put that on after, but it actually kind of gives the tables uh, a floating look. One of our good buddies, Griffles Customs, come in today with this uh, super cool piece. We're going to be using our new toy on, the, the Shaper Origin. Um, we're going to be uh, cutting an inspirational message into this piece. So we're going to get our tape and put it on here so we can create our art space. And yeah, they don't even have to be like they can kind of be skewed. Yeah, like like Set this on here. Yeah. Yeah. So now it does like a scan. So you can okay. kind of see like in there oh, wow. and everything. So you start the scan and it like creates the art space. We finish the scan. So now over my tape, there's some of the wood back to the resin. And so this is where you could like, if you wanted a certain spot for that to be put, like you could pinpoint where you want and then when you go to design you set it right on that mark that you make That's awesome. or it senses the edge and so you sense this edge and then here and it creates like a square like on a grid and so it'll snap to the grid wherever you want to put it yeah something like that something like that okay so yeah you might have to do something in illustrator then like actually design it in Illustrator. And I'm just gonna open up Adobe Illustrator right now and uh, come up with a design. What's that? 
Oh, well, even like this crazy looking one is kind of cool. Oh yeah. And we have to save it as an SVG file in order for the shaper to be able to use it. I don't even own a computer, so I don't know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so now we should be able to go to import. And then it's right there that we just designed. And now we can just place that where we want it. 300 wide. So we need to set the depth to where it can touch the edge. So that's the depth we want to set. And so now we go to the front edge. Go to the other side. And then now we go to this edge. So now it snaps to like, there's every two millimeters, there's like a box that we can set it to. I'm gonna import that again. Because you do all the digital work, right? Yeah, so I used to do graphic design before I worked here. Nice. And uh, actually I had like no woodworking experience. <laughs> but now I know how to do cool stuff like this. That's amazing. Yeah. So now you can see how like that little line is smaller. Okay, so that's the very bottom of it there. And then, so about there, so you can see how this is red. Yeah. That's meaning that there's not enough like tape for it to read. What's that? I unplugged it. I didn't save anything, but as long as this tape is still on there, you could leave this for like six years, place this thing back on here, and it'll scan and remember what this project was. Because each time you lay the tape down, yeah. it's unique to oh, yeah. the way that you lay it, and the machine will pick up on that. Yep. Even though it's two-sided, I flipped it over and I thought, oh, that's going to be the same piece. So we milled the same piece. The rotor ring is the exact same on both pieces. It is. Everything's the same on both pieces, so it's quite cool. Can we slide these on just to see? Yeah, so slide one on. So we were also thinking that we might actually release some plans for this, this base style here. Um, just some simple drawings so you guys could build that and then maybe even doing like a, a full in-depth video on this so that you guys could learn how to build this. So definitely let us know if that's something you guys would want to see. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing that shaper. Uh, we do have them on our website. So if you go down in the description, you can order one. Uh, we can ship them or there's in-store pickup. And then before we sign off, we want to show you kind of the progress on the new bay. So. Brad and John have been working away on framing up this wall. So it's, it's a hallway for our bathroom, but it's also going to kind of have the podcast studio up there. So there is a lot more room in there now. Um, let's go take a quick look before we sign off. Here we go. Here's the space. We're probably going to put couch or chairs in this corner. Uh, Haley will be over there. But yeah, it's... Uh, John, from that it's, line you're just cutting there, it's yeah, coming along. We're over 75 and a quarter. And let us know if there is any other woodworkers that you guys think that we should have on our podcast because we are looking for people to have on.
Maybe Joe. We could have Joe on. I'm not that. It's a 79. <laughs> okay, see you guys. <laughs>